Hey guys, Yoakum here. Today I'm going to talk about my five most memorable moments playing Pokemon as a child for Gen 3. I played Pokemon Ruby, and let me tell you, that game was absolutely groundbreaking for me. I first saw a screenshot of it leaked in a magazine as a kid, and I thought, if this is what Pokemon's going to look like from now on, I'm all in. I am game for it. It was so clear and colorful and... I mean, it was just perfect. Well, perfect for the time, really, with the Game Boy Advance uh, graphics and such, but it was just so different for Pokemon. The screenshot that I saw also showed a leaked photo of Why Not. It was a little bit different than what Why Not turned out to be, but nonetheless, it was still amazing because P Why Not had not yet been revealed, and I had no idea what Why Not was. My Mudkip. When I was faced with the decision to choose my starter, I had to go with my rule, and that was picking the water starter. And I could only imagine what Mudkip would have grown into. And then I was faced with the derp that is Marshtomp. I mean, look at those eyes. And then eventually when he evolved into Swampert, he pretty much carried me through the game, but I was a little bit older at this point, so I knew better, and I knew that I had to make sure that all of my other guys were leveled up and kind of like all around the same level. Uh, but nonetheless, Swampert still kind of carried me through the majority of the game as my top Pokemon. When I was with Wally, and he was catching his first Pokemon, when I saw Ralts for the first time, I thought he looked a little dumb, actually. To me, with the limited graphics of the Game Boy Advance at the time, he just kind of looked like a pile of ash with a head on top. And I thought, what in the world is that? And then I looked at the name too, and I thought, that just doesn't sound like a Pokemon name to me. Later in the grass, when I was training up my Pokemon, I ran into Ralts. And I thought, you know what? He looks kind of dumb. Let's go ahead and catch him anyways and see what it turns out to be. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that he was a psychic Pokemon, which was a solid type to have early on in the game. And boy, was I also surprised when he eventually evolved and then fully evolved into Gardevoir. Gardevoir quickly became one of my favorite Pokemon of all time and still is to this day. Getting stuck when Team Magma stole the submarine. I had no idea what to do. As a kid, I would skip through a lot of the text, so there was a lot of clues that were missing for me. And so for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what to do. So what did I do? I just went around the region that I could be around and grinded, ground, grund, grund my Pokemon. So I went around training my Pokemon and eventually I realized that some of the water in Hoenn was like a different a different shade of blue than the rest of the water. So I thought, what is what exactly is this? And so long story short, I found out that that's where you're supposed to use the dive function. And so I started doing it in a bunch of different areas just to see like what's underneath. You know, you find clam pearl and such and other cool things. Um, it wasn't until later on I found the submarine and I was finally able to progress through the game. I later got Emerald about a year later after it came out when a best friend of mine at the time showed me that he had it and showed me like some of the differences that are in the game compared to before with Ruby and Sapphire. And I knew that I had to have it. And so I begged my mom at Walmart to get it for me. When I had beaten the game and I saw the battle frontier, I thought it was so cool. It was like another small region with more gyms to take on. I thought it was similar to like gold, silver, and crystal where you would have to go back in Kanto and you get more gym badges, then replay the elite four where they're a bit stronger. And I was pretty disappointed that that was not the case for Emerald with the battle frontier. It was really confusing to me and I couldn't really figure it out. And then when there was the whole thing about the winning streaks in order to beat it. And I thought, how in the world am I gonna get 100 battles in a row without losing a single battle? So sadly, I just, I gave up and I never played the Battle Frontier. One day, I do wanna go back and replace the battery on my copy of Pokemon Emerald so that way I can take on the Battle Frontier since I have a little bit more knowledge over the competitive scene and how to build a diverse team and not just only have one type of moves for that type of Pokemon. And last but not least, my Ashes Pikachu. 
Now, a little backstory on this Pikachu. So my best friend at the time, he was much better of a Pokemon trainer than I was. And he was really good at making competitive teams. He knew about breeding and egg moves. I didn't know about any of that stuff at the time. And so he showed me that he had made a Pikachu that was modeled after Ash's Pikachu. And so it used the top four moves that Ash's Pikachu used, which was Iron Tail, Quick Attack, Thunderbolt, and Volt Tackle. Volt Tackle, I had no idea was even in the game. I thought it was just a move for the show. Once again, because he knew about breeding and all the mechanics and such, and I didn't, he knew that Volt Tackle was an egg move in the special ways in order to get your Pikachu to have Volt Tackle. He also showed me the glitch in Pokemon Emerald where you can learn how to clone certain Pokemon in the game. It's this whole process of going to the PC, putting a Pokemon in, pressing L, turning off the game, saving, this whole convoluted thing on how to clone a Pokemon. And so what he did is he went ahead and cloned his Pikachu, and I still have that Pikachu to this day in my Pokemon Platinum. And I'm really hoping that the cloning mechanic of Gen 3 doesn't mess with the authenticity of that Pokemon, because I would love to have that very special Pikachu in my games today. And there you have it, guys. Those are my top five most memorable moments playing Pokemon as a child for Gen 3. What are some of your most memorable moments playing Pokemon Gen 3? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to Super Smash the like button. And if you didn't, don't Super Smash that other option. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you stay updated on all of my future videos. Alrighty, guys. See you later.